Hello Virgo, welcome to a love reading all about your person, the person that you're currently thinking about or connecting with, what are their energies, feelings towards you, and what are their genuine intentions towards you, towards the connection. Uh, so keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, for Virgo, spirit for Virgo, what's going on for Virgo in love? What's going on for Virgo in love? Spirit angels guide, clarity guidance, please for Virgo. What's going on for them in love? We have falling leaves, changes, transition, time. Time changes everything. Okay, let's see what else we got. What else for Virgo? What's going on for them in love? Taking action, movement, action, courage. Time to make a move. Hmm. I feel like someone's taking action after a long time. We'll see. Oh my God, the moving forward card again. Virgo, I swear, this is like the fifth time this card shows up for you guys. In a reading, this is from my Seller Energy Oracle deck, which I use all the time. And every single time I use this deck, I get this moving forward card for Virgos. Okay, let's see. Now, if you don't believe me, check out my other readings for Virgos and you'll see it. What else for Virgo? What else for Virgo? What do we need to know for Virgo and love? What do we need to know, Spirit, for Virgos and love? Okay, we have masculine, divine masculine. Okay, so we'll see what that's all about because I am going to be looking at every single one of these energies separately and then we'll be clarifying with the tarot. So we'll be able to dig in and get some insight here. Oh, there you are, Virgo, Hermit at the bottom of the deck. Okay, tell me more, Spirit. Help me clarify these energies for Virgo. Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups. Let me clarify, Spirit. What's going on for Virgos? See, there's like movement away, which again is a common theme for Virgos in my channel. Sorry, just some clarity, please, for Virgos. Tell me about this falling leaves energy. What's this falling leaves energy about? Eight of Swords. Maybe you've been stuck for a long time, Virgo. Maybe you've been in your head here for a long time. Eight of Swords, Two of Cups. This could be about a connection. This could be being stuck in a connection. I have the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. There may be conflict that you're dealing with in a connection. This could be you um, overthinking something to do with another person. We'll see, because I'm going to clarify even more these energies. Eight of Wands. Okay, so maybe this is about communication. Communication that might lead to conflict, because we did have the Five of Swords. We'll see. Tell me about the taking action energy. What's this taking action energy about? What's this taking action energy about? Three of Wands. Tell me more about taking action. Six of Wands. I feel like you're waiting for the right time, you or your person. Feel free to flip the energies here in this reading um, because this is generally what's happening for you in love, so it does involve typically another person. So um, feel free to flip it. But what I'm seeing here is someone that's waiting to take action that leads to success. Maybe they're waiting for um, a confirmation about something. Tell me about this masculine energy. All of the decks that I'm using, Virgo, all of the information that you want to know about personal readings um, is in the description box as well. OK, 
Okay, tell me about the masculine energy. Six of Swords. I'm telling you, this moving forward card, it just keeps coming up. And then the Five of Pentacles. So someone I feel is leaving a situation that maybe has they haven't been doing well in. Maybe there's financial setbacks here. Some sort of struggle here financially. Someone is emotionally, I feel, checked out here not interested ten of pentacles ace of wands i feel like there's a choice that someone's trying to make here about a new beginning elsewhere which i mean i, I feel like i'm sounding like a broken record for virgo but that's the message that i keep getting for you guys you or your person are leaving a situation and as you leave that situation i feel like you find yourself back with another person or you're being led to another person here Spirit, give me some clarity, please, for Virgo regarding these energies. Clarity and insight, please, for Virgo, Spirit. Now, this little deck that I have here is my new, like, clarifying deck. And I have uprights and reversals, uprights and reverse cards <laughs> in this deck. So, we'll see what we get. Spirit, tell me about this Eight of Swords, Two of Cups energy. Tell me about this Eight of Swords, Two of Cups energy. We have the Moon Reverse, Pisces energy. Tell me about the Eight of Swords, Two of Cups, please. Ten of Pentacles. One more, please, for the Eight of Swords, Two of Cups, Two of Swords, Reverse, Five of Pentacles, Reverse, and the Strength card, Leo Energy. But with the Moon Reverse, something's being seen very clearly that maybe wasn't seen clearly before. An illusion is being seen for what it truly is. A secret is coming to light. Why is the moon reverse? Why is the moon reverse? Knight of Cups. Why is the moon reverse? Why is the moon reverse? Two of Cups reverse. So I feel like this is affecting a connection. Um, I feel like someone has realized that they were misled. That's the word I heard, misled. I was going to say deceived, but it really is misled that Spirit wants me to say. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, something looks good on the outside or there's some sort of um, difficulties in, a, in an existing commitment here. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Judgment, okay. Someone's making a, I'm telling you, someone's coming to a decision here. Two of Swords Reverse, can I get one for the Two of Swords Reverse? Oh my goodness. King of Swords Reverse. Tell me about the Two of Swords Reverse. This is like Five of Pentacles Reverse. So I feel like someone no longer, it's like someone's been held back. Yeah. Page of Swords Reverse, Nine of Swords. Someone's been held back due to fear. Eight of Swords. I feel like they've kept something to themselves due to fear. This King of Swords Reverse. It's almost like there's fear of the blowout or the blowback or the consequences of this. I think a connection has been an illusion here. Because I have the two of cups reverse with the moon reverse. I have judgment here. This could be a karmic situation or it could be a situation that someone's waking up to. And this has happened because of time. Time changes everything. Tell me about this Three of Wands and the Six of Wands. 
I feel like whatever this is, someone's taking action about it. Tell me about the Three of Wands and the Six of Wands. Wow, okay. Tell me about the Three of Wands and the Six of Wands. Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Three of Wands. The Six of Wands. The Magician, yeah. So this is not going to be easy is what I'm seeing here. There is a lot of burdens, responsibilities, there's a weight here, but someone's waking up. Four of Swords Reverse, Knight of Wands Reverse, Two of Pentacles. Uh, what's basically, I feel this is someone holding themselves back, once again. It's almost like someone already knows what it would take to manifest something, to make something happen. Someone knows how to be successful, what action to take, but they're waiting. Even though mentally they've woken up, when it comes to action, they haven't actually taken it. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune Reverse. There's no effort being put in here. And I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why. Maybe they're playing the long game or there's some sort of delay here. Why the Three of Wands? Why the Three of Wands? Knight of Pentacles reverse and the Three of Pentacles reverse. So there's someone else here. Death, Scorpio energy at the bottom of the deck, followed by the Page of Cups and the Five of Wands. I feel, it's, you know, I'm, I just got the weirdest message. Um, it's almost like someone's going to apologize for the fact that they're leaving or ending something. And it, I feel like they're doing that because they know, it's almost like they're trying to let someone down easy. This is very delayed. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Someone I feel is trying to play this smart. Or play the long game here. Tell me about the Six of Wands. And I don't know if this is you or your person. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Sorry, the Six of Swords or the Five of Pentacles. What's this about? I feel like the Divine Masculine is the one leaving. Three of Wands reverse. Tell me about the Six of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Ten of Cups reverse. My goodness. Tell me about the Six of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Eight of Swords reverse. So someone is leaving, um, breaking free. But I feel like they're going to leave a lot of unhappiness in their wake. Or it's going to disrupt what appeared to be a good thing. It's going to be difficult. I won't lie. I have the Five of Pentacles here. Ten of Wands has shown up. Knight of Pentacles reverse. So it's like things are going to be slow. But someone I feel is making a move here. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Can I get one more? For the Six of Swords. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Nine of Wands, Reverse, Page of Wands. Yeah, so I feel like someone is pretty much giving up or no longer, yeah, death right after that. Someone's pretty much no longer going to stick, stick around and hold on, basically. It's almost like they are leaving their post. <laughs> what a weird message, but that's what I'm getting. So let's get some insight into this other person that you are dealing with or will be dealing with, Virgo. Spirit, tell me more about this person that Virgo is or will be dealing with. Tell me more, Spirit, about the person that Virgo is or will be dealing with in the near future here. What do we need to know about this person that Virgo is or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this person? Nine of Swords. 
What do we need to know about this person that Virgo is or will be dealing with? The Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. There's someone else here. This is a third party situation. Three of Pe uh, Pentacles Reverse came out. Now the Three of Cups is here. The, the Hierophant is here. Taurus Energy. There's the Devil, Capricorn Energy. One of you is already in a commitment, and that's a problem. Because someone stressed out about it for a reason. Someone could hear um, could be feeling um, guilt or remorse as well. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Justice, Libra energy. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Seven of Wands. I'm pi I'm picking up that someone's worried about a legal battle here. With another, yeah, because this is this is. I feel this is keeping someone from taking action. Tell me about the higher font. Why is the higher font here? Ace of Swords, yep, and then the Judgment card at the bottom of the deck. There's clarity now about this situation. Um, your person, or the person you're dealing with here, they're realizing something about the situation that they're in. I'm also getting, for some of, for, um, some of you, and it's a small number of you, the issue, the third party, is not necessarily another person. It's appearances. This person's playing a role, and that's an issue. That's not for a small number of you, but I'm picking it up. Can I get one more for this um, higher font energy? Can I get one more? Eight of Cups. The Hermit, Virgo, there you are. Yeah, this is someone that's thought about this and has clarity about this now. This is the person, I feel this masculine energy, um, is leaving a situation. I don't know if this is you or your person. Once again, take it at how it resonates. But I feel they're leaving a commitment. And it's worrying. It's stressful. Um, because I feel like this is someone that is worried about the fight that's going to happen. So let's see. What's going to happen next? Okay, Spirit, tell me more about what's happening next for Virgo. What can Virgo expect in the near future? What can Virgo expect in the near future? What can Virgo expect? King of Pentacles. Yeah, the, I feel like this is basically a situation that someone has been in for a long time, but things are changed. Things have changed. The circumstances are different or something has changed. And someone I feel is waking up to this change or at least realizing that the change is there. And they're going to they're going to do something about it. I feel like for Virgos there's definitely a moving forward energy here. The Lovers, Gemini Energy. What's next for Virgo? Sorry, what's next for Virgo? Three of Wands. The world at the bottom of the deck. So this is a whole new beginning here. A whole new cycle, a new chapter. I feel like someone's waiting for this to take place, for this to happen. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Two of Cups. I think in the midst of all this, there is a true connection here. Tell me about the King Nine of Wands. 
Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Why is the P King of Pentacles here? King of Wands. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck and Ace of Wands. So, yeah, it's it's almost like an, um, your person, Virgo, or you, you have to make an exchange in order to get what you want. A choice needs to be made for you to move forward here. Yeah. For you to, to move forward, basically. Tell me about the lovers. Okay, this one wants to come out. Queen of Wands, tell me about the lovers. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Seven of Wands. Why is the lovers here? The higher font so yeah there's going to be challenges regarding the existing commitment but i think you're still going to go for it with the queen of wands seven of pentacles maybe there's yeah wow the tower and then the wheel of fortune look at this that is drastic change with the tower and the wheel of, of fortune these two energies is like things are never going to be the same again Okay, when these two energies are happening, I mean, it's a complete change. What's after this? Five of Wands. Yeah, someone's going to fight you, I think, on this. But eventually, you will be victorious. Six of Wands. The Sun. And then after that, the Ten of Swords. So it's almost like someone's going to be happy and someone's going to be, like, really upset. There's going to be a winner and a loser here is what I'm getting. And you have some doubts, or there's someone here that's worried about the future, the outcome of all of this. Because it's such a big change. And you know, nothing's going to be the same after those two energies. And I think that's part of the reason why it's so terrifying. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? The Magician, yeah, someone's waiting to make this move. Tell me about the Three of Wands. If I could just, Five of Pentacles. I'm gonna put these back so I can, well, there's the Eight of Cups again. Tell me more about this Three of Wands. Can I get one more? Okay, and then get me two. Three. The High Priestess, Two of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you are debating. You or your person, whoever's making this move is debating what to do. And I think also the instinct is there to move quickly. It's almost like they someone really wants to move quickly, but it's like they stop themselves. Your intuition will guide you. Um, three of swords at the bottom of the deck, four of, yeah, someone holds back because of the pain that they'll, they'll cause possibly, or the difficulty, maybe the verbal conflict that will happen, maybe the third party, um, but that's, you know, that's life, nothing is going to be wrapped up in a pretty little bow, I mean, it just doesn't work like that. Page of Pentacles, Tower at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there is no escaping this <laughs> Tower and Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this is going to happen whether someone wants to or not. I also feel like someone can um, stall as much as they want. But I feel like this is a wheel that's been turning. And it's going to help someone. I mean, you're going to have to start from zero possibly. Or start from from very little but eventually I feel like you're gonna have um, an opportunity a new opportunity and it's not gonna be easy um, yeah it's not you're gonna be dealing with some 
serious BS here.